guys, it's Jamie with Not Too Shabby. I hope you guys are enjoying the design team's inspiration for this month's products. I thought I'd dive in and make a couple cards with the Paper Pad Club this month. We have Elephant Love and Perfectly Snuggly. So they're very cute. I really wanted to make something with this pad here since I haven't done it yet. Um, and then I'm going to make another card with the Elephant Love. So here are the other two cards that I created with the Elephant Love paper pad. I didn't get to do these on camera. My um, camera cut off so I didn't get to film um, me putting these together. But today I'm going to do a couple of slimline cards. Um, the cute little images are from our stamp of the month. Um, so that is also available in the shop. I'll have all these items listed in the description. So when you join our paper pad club or our stamp of the month club, you get an 18% off discount. It'll show it in your shopping cart when you choose monthly for your frequency. You can also purchase it as a one-time purchase if you did not want a monthly subscription. So in the paper pads, um, Teresa puts some graphics in there so we can cut those out, use them on card fronts, um, or if you just didn't like the images, you could always use what's on the back. So you can see how beautiful the paper pads are. I mean, I'm in love with each and every one of them each month. Look how gorgeous that is. Some really cute cats in here. Um, it's like a cat and coffee themed paper pad and the cutouts in here are really really cute So I went ahead and cut all these out with my brother's scan and cut you can also just fussy cut them So you have several options to create different card fronts and These elephants are just so adorable. I love the rolled roses so what I did is I used a Cat Scrappiness Wonky Stitched Mini Slimline Die and then I made my card base just a little bit bigger so we have a little white border going around. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that first with some Barely Art Craft Glue and I do have this glue in the shop if you are interested. So I'm just going to leave that nice white border all the way around. I like to um, put the magnets on so my panel dries nice and flat. That helps me to hold down my paper as it's drying. So really love the prints on this paper pad. Reminds me of the 80s. Okay, so we have several options. I really like the image of the girl sitting, drinking her coffee with her little cat on her shoulder. She's got a little cat sweater. And then I thought she could sit next to the little um, the armchair with the pillow that says coffee anyone. And that could be my sentiment. So this card is going to come together so quickly. And I cut out a little piece of plaid, so I thought I'd stick that right there to anchor my images. So I am going to put the couch down flat, and then we'll pop up the girl. Just going to snip this off just a little bit here. And then we'll pop up the curl right there. Okay, so I'm going to pop her up right there. I have some purple. This calls for confetti in the Bring on the Boca purple. And I am just going to sprinkle some of that on this card.
Okay, so that finishes that card. Okay, we'll just let that dry. And now for this card, I was gonna do kind of the same layouts. I'm gonna take this little polka dot pattern and take my elephant and I'm gonna stamp my sentiment right on this elephant. So it's a light enough color. I'm gonna stamp out the I'm here for you sentiment from the hashtag BFF stamp set that comes in your box this month. I'm going to use the VersaFine Claire. And now we have a sentiment. And then behind this, I'm gonna add the little rolled roses. Just like that. We'll pop up the elephants. 